Oh, sorry. Ah, sorry, I didn't share my screen. Okay, now I think I'm sharing my screen. So after some investigation, it turns out that the issue is not in the JavaScript. The issue is in the HTML codes, which I put the script at the wrong place. So after a few hours of debugging and commenting many stuff, I uh, managed to find the issue. Uh, so when I open the live server, oh, okay. When I click at task, it will actually pop up. But you can type something here something and add the task but it's not working now because I haven't added JavaScript for the features and also the cost close button okay so uh, now oops so right now we are going to uh, continue with the JavaScript and now we're going to do the draggable features like we can drag this to not started drag it to in progress and drag it to completed so how uh, to do it first we need to capture what are the what are these kind of bosses are called okay so let's go to our html codes yeah the draggable is set to true and the class name is called to do so create a constant to do go to document dot queries i'm going to use back the same stuff uh. um this one is called to do uh i check it's a class or it's an id yeah it is it is a class to do and another constant for the status because we've got so many status there Mm, I call it auth status. Okay. It's not right. Auth status. Go to document. Uh, I will call it status. Okay, and let the draggable to do. I declare a variable called a the to do first. Okay, so for each to do, uh, to do. Uh, I'm going to use the arrow functions. We are going to capture two things. The first thing is when we start dragging this, and the second thing is when we put it in each status. So let me call it drag start and drag end. Okay. Oh. I call it drag start. And I add another one and call it drag end. Oh, why? How come this one got? Oh, okay. Sorry. Mm. Oh, sorry, the function is this. Okay, get rid of the red underline already. So I, because uh, I'm using a, we are going to declare a drag start. So I'm going to use a function called drag start. I'm going to set 
Okay, I'm going to say that to do equal to this. So I can use this to set and set the time up. Ah, uh, let me check for some issue first. Oh, this one. Okay, ah, uh, let me check if it's working first. Okay, so I got this here. Oh, it's still not working, but I think there's no error with the code. I think it needs the drag and to see how the function is working. So it's okay. Let us put the drag and. Okay. Sorry. So drag and we want it to set it to not longer draggable. So I say back to now. And same thing. I, I think I just copy and paste. Okay. And this one I say the block. what i'm going to do here is uh, when i click the drag start i want it to disappear and i and to the function drag and i want it to reappear again so can give the user uh experience of like dragging something like that okay so this one is just for the dragging and now i have to settle the status stuff Same for if status. Okay, how come it? How come it got underlined? I add another stuff. Yeah, I think I use the right name. Okay, sorry. Let's start at for the status. I'm going to add another two function called drag over. And also call drag drop. Okay. So this is for status. So I open the function called drag over. And doing drag over, I want it to prevent default. I don't want it to. Thank you. 
period. And the function drag dot. So let's see if it's working. Oh, no, sorry, I do some mistake. Let's try this. So I want to drag here to here. Oh, something is wrong again. Sorry. Let me see. Hmm. Okay. I think it's something with the JavaScript. At event listener, this is called right set time up. Oh, I need to give it a now first. I'm sure what. Maybe I miss out this line. Okay, let's try again. Mm -hmm. If I comment out this. Is that a full stop or comma? Line 14. Oh, line 14. Line 14. Uh, line 14. Yeah, 14. 14. Um, actually, it means another line in JavaScript. I can delete that. If I eh, cannot comment on this, I mean the drag start. To the yeah, yeah. 40. Oh, drag start to the live 40. 14, 14. 14. Yeah. Oops. Oh, okay, okay. And then the, the 34, line 34. Sorry, my bad like that. Okay. Mm, still not working. I think something with the syntax or maybe if I comment it is out. No, not related to this.
just well. Oh, sorry, my bad. Pen chow, I think draggable to do your I think. Hmm. Hmm. to do. I said to this. A comment is up. Yeah, I said draggable it would be true. Let's Uh, I try to debug first. Hmm. Maybe I try another way. Ah, 
بود اوکی سوری I think it's just some syntax error. Here I put to do's and here I put without s. So this is the dragging effect. When I add task, I can move it to any place I want. And I also can place it back to inactive. Okay, sorry. I also can place it back to inactive. Yeah, I can change the error status. All right. so. After adding the draggable effects, now we can start adding the task because like uh, when you put add task, we'll write something like write something and click add task. We want this function to work as well. So let's try to do it. Hopefully not much issue. So this one I have to, I, been, I call it a uh, to do submit. Selector or uh, first, I need to grab the to do submit. The to do submit is oh, it's an ID. Wait, what man? Yeah, element by ID. And the uh, name is called to do submit. And later that click. Okay, let's check what is the name of this. Who um, do mean? Okay, we call it at task. Okay, this is the name of the functions. Uh, okay. Function. I create a function called this, and this function is going to add the testing. So first, I need a uh, to create a DEB. I need to create a new dev for every to do I create, every task I'm added. And I need to create input. Okay. Secondly, I need to grab the input. ID is going to be everything input here, like we call it to do input. Dot value. Okay. Okay. And we need and this one is going to handle the input. OK. 
Okay, so for to do the depth, I'm going to append all the all the tasks uh, enter into the to do input and. And I call it to do. I give the class of name to do. And yeah, I have to give, uh, I'm going to give a property that the draggable is also true. Uh, I'm going to set attributes. And later that, yeah, so far, so good first. So to do. And this one is the same thing because I want the newly added to do is able to drag also. So I just copy and paste the code here. So this two of line is like when I add a to I add a to do already I I, I click the add task the pop up will appear after I enter what I want to do means the to do I want and uh, click the green button clean this add a task I want it to clear the text box I want it to clear this one and also close the form as well Okay, but I'm not sure how it works out. So uh, let's try. I'm not sure if it's working. Let's try so if there's any error. I click an add task. I write uh, hello. I click add the task. Okay, so there's something wrong as well. Hmm. It does not add the task and it also doesn't remove. Maybe I need to create for the span also first. I create the, another attribute for the close button also. For line 66 and 67, yeah. they are mean to, to do or to do's. Um, to do's 
哦，主动的。Oh, yeah, it's to do. Ah,、uh, sorry, sorry. I make the same mistake again. Okay, but I still continue at finish the close button first. Let's see if anything that I miss out.、Oh. Let me check first if there's anything I missed out. This one is an ID. I think ID. I can do this. Value tax cost list. Value. Okay, so so far so good. Let's try it out again. I simply write something for H, and I click add task. Yeah, it. Oh H. Ah, the X is the close button. But it plays very near. Yeah, the H is the close button. Okay, so it's working now. Okay, so、um, basically concept is that I when I add something, it will add the to do. Then I can drag this to do to. I, I cannot drag this. Um. Let me try again. Sorry. Oh, at task, I simply at the task. Hmm, the dragable is not working here. Maybe I need to recreate another one.
Ah, okay. I add a task, I simply click the task. At task, it will be here, so this is correct, and I drag to here, yeah. Uh, because this one, I name it to, I name the class name to to do dev already, so this one is not to do or to do, so I have to place at to do this. Okay, so it's basically uh, the concept here, and maybe need some DSS to style a bit, uh, so that the text and also the those button will be more distinct. Yeah. Okay. So lastly, the last thing I need to do is the at task. What if the user enters something and the user want to click a close button? The user does not want to add the task. So to do this, I need to create another variables again, uh, another constant. I will call it close border. Okay, I select the all. And the name I put is, yeah, close form. Okay, so for the close form, for each. Same thing, we detect if the user clicked it. I create another variable called models. This one is to get the closest model. Uh, I apply this because at uh, the time we are using a concept that uh, if the model is displayed, it will be, if the model is not active, it will set to the place where top negative 50 and left 50. It means that the user is not going to see it because the top is set to negative 50%. And when the use, and when the model is active, it will go jump to 15%, the place where the user can see it. So let's see if the code is working. I add task without editing, I click close. Okay, something wrong again. Uh, let me debug. debug. Close one. Maybe I just use the class equal to close form. Yeah. Click. Okay. I do need apply. I just want to remove it. Yeah, so I think just like it's a mistake of putting apply. Lah. So uh, this is the basic to do app created. When the user want to add tasks, it can click the add task and add any task they want.
and can drag the task to any positions like from not start when the task is not start in progress and completed and if the user doesn't want the task anymore can click the close button and for the form also if the user doesn't want to proceed with any task also can click this close button so um that's a simple to do app uh, presented by me and ching hong um yeah that's all for presentation thank you Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, mind if you share your code. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Um, you want me to put it inside the GitHub or um, for my session? GitHub also can, GitHub. Oh, okay. Uh, I will place it into GitHub and oh, maybe I do it now. Lah. Okay. Um, hold on, uh, wait for me a while. Okay, done. So let me share the link. Okay, here's the link. And there's yeah, only okay. two files, uh, uh, HTML and JavaScript. So thank you, everyone, and good night. <laughs> okay, thanks, Ching Hong. Thanks for waiting for me, and sorry for the wait. Lah. Okay, thank you. Thank you bye, good night. Bye-bye. All right.